actually a lunar calendar because both Judaism and Islam are gu guided by the lunar calendar. This is what determines, you know, when the festivals start, um, when sort of the months start, when the, the, the beginning of the year starts. So um, this is, these are basically the lunar phases. You can see the red is the shadow moving across the, the moon. And then you have, you have the full moon here and have the new moon here. And it's basically the different phases all being described uh, in Arabic. And it's part of, again, it's, it's this, this knowledge of this astronomical knowledge, this uh, astrological knowledge, uh, and you know, sort of the celestial bodies, the knowledge of the celestial bodies that's being kept by this very, very diverse multicultural society where people, for example, would gather in salons uh, and discuss, you know, calendars, discuss philosophy, discuss theology. Um, you have this in Baghdad, you have this in Cairo, you have basically the different viziers uh, being patrons of, of these uh, salons where intellectuals of the time meet.